What's up everyone? Benjamin here and welcome to another video. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much for dropping by and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed to my channel, thank you sir and welcome back. Thank you so much. So today, uh, today's video, we are going to be checking out a budget capture card. Yes, because we're always on a budget. So yeah, what I have here is uh, I bought a capture card from Lazada for around uh, 600 to 700 pesos. Uh, we are going to be using a we are going to be using this capture card for the for my son's live streaming on YouTube. Now uh, he's been using the Xbox One S console to live stream his games on YouTube using Aircast app, but it's good. It's fine. Just very intrigued on how it looks like if we're going to be using or we're going to be doing some live stream using this console uh, with the capture card this time. So in this video, we are going to be checking out what's inside the box and we're going to be testing how it looks like the lag or the latency of this capture card with the console and using the OBS studio let's check it out all right so now let's try to open new package let's see what's inside the box of this one there you go as you can see there is the capture card itself Malit lang pala siya. so this is the box. As you can see in front, you can see 4K Ultra HD HDMI video capture ca capture with loop out HDMI video capture on the side HDMI video capture and the same on the other side. And on the back, you can see the application. Uh, what's this application? Dingram. See there, USB output going to your computer or laptop. So this will be the HDMI output going to your monitor, and the HDMI input going to your computer or uh, console. Okay. So it supports input max resolution of 4K. Supports output max resolution of 1080p. You can use this for gaming, teaching, and video conference. Because that's what I've said earlier, guys. We are gonna be using this for my son's live streaming from his Xbox One S console to YouTube okay so let's see what's inside the box oh it's very small oh, okay let's just put that on the side first so it comes with a micro USB cable and there's the manual as you can see in the manual it's different from the actual capture card but that's fine it's fine as long as it's English all good okay how about the back check the capture card itself so as you can see here is the capture card HDMI video capture card with loop out here you can see HDMI out and HDMI in and on the other side you can see the micro USB I think this is this one is for charging and this one uh, this is the USB I think this is the USB 3.0 Yes, with this one. I'm not sure how to check, but in the description, it's a USB 3.0. With this capture card, this can broadcast up to 1080p 60 or 4K with amazing quality of 30 frames per second. I've been checking out some reviews on YouTube about capture cards. Having the 1080p 60 or 4K 30 FPS is a very good choice of a capture card. So there you go. And I like the build quality. Like, just I don't know if you can hear that. There, build quality is solid as well. There you go. There you have it. So now we're gonna be testing this capture card. We're gonna be using the console, and we're gonna connect this one here and connect this one to my laptop or to my computer. And let's see how it looks like, like the lag or the latency. So let's do this. All right. So I already turned on my uh, Xbox One S and already connected another HDMI from my monitor, and I also have this other HDMI cable from my Xbox One S. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I just wanted to inform you that I'm still rocking the 2015 MacBook Pro. This is the dual core i5 version. Just wanted to show you guys there. 2015 okay so just bear with me all right so here's the capture card i'm gonna connect this here connect this one there okay so i connected this one there and for the hdmi cable from your monitor you need to put it on the uh, output i connected the hdmi 
from my monitor to the HDMI out and next is I'm gonna connect the HDMI from my console to the HDMI in this time so capture card HDMI from console and then HDMI from my monitor there you go so as you can see I'm gonna try to wait I'm gonna try to move so difficult <laughs> hold on so on my computer on my old computer i'm gonna open obs so this is just gonna we're just gonna test or how it's gonna look like so just bear with me with my level on fortnite so here on obs this is a new one so it's a new scene so we're gonna try to add capture card we can capture card device our capture card there click ok and then click usb you have options here just choose usb video there you go. Oh, okay, hold on. There. So let's see. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, if there's gonna be a lag or something. So if I switch there. Um, actually, it's, there's a there's a really like lag, uh, which is normal. So I didn't tweak any settings yet. Oh, and one good thing about this one, this capture card is it's like a plug and play. So you just plug it in and you're good to go. You don't need any drivers. You don't need to download any drivers for you to use it. So three, two, one. Let's see. Just try to jump. There, as you can see there, it jumped. So when I go here and I go there, there, you can see the lag. You can notice it. So maybe I don't know. Maybe because uh, I'm still I'm using the old, an old computer. I think. Uh, let me just try to land here. Let's see. Oh, somebody's shooting me already. Hey, no! I'm just testing this capture card. Come on. Yeah, maybe uh, I could tweak some settings from my MacBook to the OBS system. I don't know. Or maybe it's my MacBook is very old. But the picture quality is nice. It's good. I think for me, this is, this is decent enough. There you go. And also guys, I noticed because uh, when you, it's already plugged in. And oh, wow, I just plug it in, but it's so hot already. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's warm. It's getting hot though. There. So I noticed already the that when you plug this in, there's a green light on both sides. So at least you will know if it's working or not. All right. But it's hot. Not not really hot, but you can feel the hotness of it. So that's how it looks like. All right. So that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So what are your thoughts on the capture card and the budget capture card that we just unboxed? So for me, it's quite good. The build quality is good. I just noticed that it was hot. Just plug it in. It was a couple of minutes, but uh, I can feel the hotness of the capture card. Hopefully it will not blow up <laughs> while using it. And also you can notice the lag. So I think I need to tweak the settings in my computer on the OBS studio. So hopefully we could minimize the lag that we just witnessed earlier. Okay, so thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next video. Peace.